So here I am in the Mass Observation Archive at Sussex University near Brighton in the south of England. And this place was the inspiration for me for life in a day. I'm surrounded by the result of the Mass Observation Project, which was something that started in the mid-1930s and kind of continues today, uh, where ordinary people were asked to keep diaries, written diaries, of things that happened in their life. In the very early phase of mass observation, they did all of their work in Bolton Blackpool. And this is a really lovely example of the kind of materials that they collected. It's a young lady who was sent out to research religious groups. And one group that she came across were the Mazdaznans. We've got interviews with the officers of this group. We even know that the weather on Wednesday the 9th of March 1938 was drizzling. We've also got a description of the service. And so it starts at 7.43. They all stand up, they all salute. And we even know how they were singing because the lady that was writing this had her notebook in her prayer book and she wrote down the notes. But nobody I've ever spoken to has ever heard of the Mazdaz Mans. I don't know what happened to them and I don't know if mass observation didn't exist, whether they would have just been completely forgotten about forevermore. What's so fantastic about this archive is that what seemed banal maybe 60, 70 years ago is kind of fascinating to us now. So there's all sort of extraordinary detailed stuff in here. So just going down these boxes, now let me see what are. This is royalties. They've asked people about royalty and they've asked people about gambling here and more about gambling, a lot about gambling. Uh, drinking habits, 1939. Uh, what else have we got? Sexual behaviour, 1939 to 50. Capital punishment, people's views on capital punishment. Food in 1937. Mass observation um, studied rationing. They studied people's eating habits. And this particular folder is full of information on cafes. One of my personal favourites is a bovril and milk, which you can get at the Lions for four pence. Nice. Propaganda morale, 1939. Art, 1938. Bird nesting survey. Dogs in wartime. Jokes, 1939. And wall chalkings during the war. There you go, this is graffiti that people have found. You've got a little drawing of Hitler there. And then Hitler as a bomb. And it says, Hitler is a, oh, we don't know what it is. <laughs> Doodles. Somebody's gone around and collected somebody's drawings from when they were on the telephone and there's a load of doodles scientifically laid out. And then this is kind of interesting. So this is from 23rd of May 1940, so one year into the war. This was found in London in Bow Street in Chalk. Jews feed war, bleed. And then it here, stop the Jewish war, hail Mosley. Mosley was the fascist leader, the leader of the fascists in England. So I guess that shows that there were quite a lot of people in England in 1940, a year into the war, who actually were supporting the fascists, which is not what you would have expected. The mass observers wanted to know what ordinary experience was like for people, not the experience in the newspapers, not what uh, politicians said it was, but what ordinary people said that life was like. So particularly during the war, during the Second World War here in England, uh, the, the mass observers were uh, fascinating in what they collected and what they learned about ordinary people's experience. And I hope that in Life in a Day we can get something a little bit similar to that.